So we'll start by making the chocolate cups that we're gonna put all of our fillings in. I have my tempered chocolate. I have a clean, food-safe paintbrush. This could be a brush that you don't use for anything other than food. A small spoon. And then I have little uh, mini cupcake liners to put my chocolate in. Now, I actually really like to use brown ones. I think they look really great with the chocolate, and they also look a lot like the peanut butter cups you can buy in the store. But it's sort of hard to see what I'm doing when I spoon the chocolate. So I'll be using these foil-lined ones for this demonstration, and those work great too. If you wanna make larger cups, you can use regular muffin or cupcake size liners and sort of cut them down so they have about a half inch, and then use that as your base. Or you can go really crazy and use jumbo ones to make giant peanut butter cups. But we're just gonna stick to the basics and make their little mini size. So my tempered chocolate is ready, and I'm gonna take a spoon and spoon some chocolate in the bottom so that it comes about, it fills about a quarter of the cup. And a little more or a little less is okay. This is definitely not rocket science. So then once I have the chocolate in, I'm gonna take the paintbrush and just sort of brush it all the way up the sides around the cup. And when you're doing this, definitely err on the side of a thicker coating because there's nothing wrong with having too much chocolate but if you have a really thin coating, you might be kind of sad when you try to unmold it and it crumbles or it cracks. So you want to make sure you get just a nice thick coating all along the sides. And if you haven't put enough chocolate in the cup, you can definitely add more at this point. Just dip it back in the chocolate and put more on your brush. And just keep an eye out, especially on the edges along up here. That's kind of where there tend to be thin spots. And then also make sure your bottom isn't too thin, that you can't see the liner. So I have it all up the sides and the bottom. And for peanut butter cups especially, we're gonna put a little chocolate on top. So it's okay if there's a few little bald areas, but for the most part, you want a good solid coating. And you can let it dry like this. If you feel like there's a lot of chocolate in your cup and that it might sort of slip down to the bottom, you can also let it dry upside down and then that'll encourage the excess to sort of uh, stream down the sides and give you a, a more uniform coating in that cup. So you'll fill the rest of the chocolate cups just like that and set them aside. If you're using tempered chocolate, it should only be about 15 to 20 minutes until they're ready to go. And at that point, you will have some beautifully hardened chocolate cups ready to be filled. You can see my cups, they are hard. They have no little bald spots and they're just waiting to be filled with something delicious.